Hi, do you know that parts with non-uniform thickness are now fully supported by the Part Browser workflow in HyperMesh 2023? In previous releases, the Map Thickness tool should be executed manually after the meshing in order to retrieve and apply thickness values to shell element. Now, in 2023 version, we have implemented an automatic thickness recognition for the common representation in order to streamline the mid-surface extraction for the parts with non-uniform thickness. How does it work? Basically, when a common representation is created, the batch measure generates the middle surface and automatically detects areas of different thickness and assigns them to separated components under the parts. And after that, a property is created for each component and the thickness value is assigned to it. Let me show you. As you can see, this model is quite simple. It is made of a single part representing a solid geometry with multiple thicknesses. Let's use the part border in order to generate a first shell mesh representation. Let's right click on the part, representation, create, and let's execute the order two millimeters shell mesh representation by asking to use the offset and planes mid-surface method. Once batch mesh successfully completed, let's load the result. As you can see, in a single step, the mid-surface has been extracted and organized into different components based on the thickness recognition. Then, a nice 2D mesh respecting your quality criteria is created and properties properly assigned to it. Eventually, let's have a look on the thickness value. And let's display the 2D shells as 3D element representation. If you want to override this new feature, you can define a non-zero value into this PDM thickness attribute. 